Welcome to this edition of Hindsight is Horrifying, the show where three mostly normal and somewhat cynical adults discuss life as members of the TV generation. Now here are your hosts, Darth Jader, Jason Mitchell, and Adam B. Wait a minute. Wait a oh. minute. Where's, where's Adam B? Someone's missing. Is he not here? I didn't even notice. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> que triste. Um, yeah, so Hindsiders, welcome to a special edition of our Halloween season. Yes. Ooh, season three of Halloween for us. <laughs> Halloween four, season three. It's Halloween. Coming next week. Halloween. <laughs> Jamie Lee is back again. <laughs> but welcome, uh, Hindsiders. You may notice that, yes, Mr. Brown is not joining us this week, but we have- He's not dead. A- so I don't sure know. I don't, I don't care what you've really? heard. I did he's just get fine. a text message from him, so as far as we're aware, Proof. he's <laughs> Move fine. on. Move on. <laughs> so we have two special guests with oh. us here in the studio. You've seen them both before, but one has not joined us for quite some time. This is my fiancé, Josh. Say hi to the listeners, Josh. How's everybody doing? <laughs> they can't hear you right now. I know. I... <laughs> this isn't live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm marrying him. He's going to be my husband. Anyway, uh, we also have another special guest. You know him, you love him. It's young Adam. Yes. yes. No the, Adam B, but the better Adam is here. So oh, it's okay. shots fired. And the shade war begins. <laughs> All right. Sure. Oh, he's brave when Mr. Brown isn't here to defend himself. <laughs> oh, it's very true. When he's here, I cower in the corner. <laughs> I, I do know Mr. Brown was very disappointed. I know he was looking forward to doing this. Yes, he was. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, it's his loss, but it is uh, Josh's gain. Yes, Josh and needs to come and play with us tonight. Yep. As yep. our guest has selected the movie, why don't you tell us what you picked? Uh, well, two years ago, I had the pleasure of coming on around Halloween time, and I chose the original Evil Dead from 1981. It scared the crap out of Jader. <laughs> so, so now we're doing Beetlejuice. I, <laughs> <laughs> so Some I of made, these effects reminded me of Beetlejuice. So. Yeah, they, very Beetlejuicey. So I made sure, it's I made it a point to come back on the show and do Evil Dead 2 just for Jader. And I've been holding him off for about... <laughs> two years. Two years <laughs> I, guess, yeah. I was That's... like, we'll never do Evil Dead 2. We'll never do it. And then guess what we're doing this Stay week. Stay tuned for Army of Darkness. Oh, God. This is, this is uh, uh, I think, going to be another of our more divisive episodes. Let's yes. hope so. Now, typically, uh, the way this works out is it's usually one person against all three. Yeah, it's, we it's, gang up on the person who likes yeah. the movie. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> we're ruthless. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much how that works. So, just going into it at the beginning, I know you like the movie. A little, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell by... In case by, you can't tell yeah. by his various <laughs> accoutrements. <laughs> yes. He carried, that's that's with him uh, 24 hours a day. Oh, wow. Um, no, but so I know that you like it. I actually <laughs> really like the movie a lot. I like the Evil Dead franchise a Wonderful. lot. Where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. In the middle I'm gonna go out friends. on a limb and say that you didn't care for it, Ugh, Darth. No, I can't stand these movies. They. I love Bruce Campbell. I can't explain it. He's great. He's campy as all get out. I adore Bruce Campbell, but I hate these freaking movies so hard. And it's probably because I didn't see them when I was a kid. There's literally zero nostalgia factor involved in this for me. I hate it. Uh, hate it. see this. This this is like high school for me. These movies, that makes sense. these movies, I, I think the first time I saw them, I was a freshman, thereabouts. Okay. Um, and I think the first one was boring when I was in high school, but then Jordan the second knows. one was good. And then the third <laughs> one was fucking awesome. <laughs> you get crazier, you yeah. get crazier. <laughs> yeah. Every movie gets Army crazier. of Darkness is just fantastic. So, into yeah. Other craziness, yes. I, and- well, now, when did you guys see it for the first time? I watched it for the first time last night. Same. Wow. I kind of thought, well, you know, while we were watching it, I think that's the differentiating factor is if you saw it when you were, you know, in early high school, it was amazing. But if you watch it the first time when you're in your late 30s, you're just like, I was having, I'm having a hard time paying attention to this. <laughs> <laughs> and you were rather uh, tired at the point of the evening and you were like, oh, I could watch this or I could doze off. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we did. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sighters. laughs> so, yeah, we didn't stick with it. I mean, I watched the movie through and through. I took my thorough Darth Jader notes. And it. I think the biggest turnoff of these movies for me is just how disgusting they are. And I can deal with gore. I'm not even like you, Jason, where gore really tends to bother me all that much. Yeah, I don't but care. The gore don't care in for these gore. movies is just 
Ugh, well, I, see, this I, gore actually doesn't bother it's me. It's all hitting. It's all get out. <laughs> see, uh. but the first movie is a straight up horror movie, so I was like, the gore is pretty disturbing. But I thought the comedic gore in this one would have turned you on to it a little bit. No, mm, no, no. I mean, I thought I think it's funny. Kind of, it's kind of like the relationship between Johnny and Tim Burton, where he loves to splash Johnny with. Wait, they're blood. married. Yes. They are. <laughs> they're common law married. Oh, by this They've point. They've been together longer than he and Helen were. were. Didn't you Aww. know that? He, you know, the woman who stole them from Lisa Tim's, Marie. They took Tim's name. That's it, though. Well, I mean, okay. Johnny needs to fly below the radar right now. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. <laughs> he's doing his best. Johnny, I'll marry I'll anything you. right now. Call me. But, uh, yeah, so it's kind of like the relationship between Tim Burton and Johnny Depp where Tim Burton loves to throw goop and slime all over Johnny whenever he gets the opportunity. And same thing with Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. Apparently Sam Raimi just finds utter delight yeah, in yeah, drenching Bruce Campbell with blood and then instantly making the blood disappear. We'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll let, we'll let uh, Adam uh, tell the audience a little bit about the movie. But yes, first I want to say, <laughs> last observation I have on this, this sort of topic is I think... When you hear about a movie for years and years, because you, even though you've never seen it before last night, you no doubt have friends who have said, oh, Evil Dead, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, Meg adores these movies. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Was she it, on the first episode with us? Yeah, she yeah. called in. Yeah. Uh, she wasn't actually here, but yeah, she called in. But I think it's one of those things where once you've had a movie built up so high... It, you know, it, it's never going to be. Yeah, you don't even yeah. have to be a contrarian. It's like my whole aversion to Finding Nemo. I heard from way too many people before I ever saw the movie yeah. that it's the best Pixar movie ever. And yeah. I was just like, okay. It was, when I saw it in Spanish, it was cute and I liked it. But I was like, this isn't the best Pixar movie ever. Come on, give me a break. I but, mean, yeah, I, I saw it when I was 12. Okay, so I, I really knew very little about it. I researched a lot of horror movies at the time because I was a fucked up little kid. You were. Well, I, I was really gonna, was. I was going to allude to that because you talked about watching It when you were like four years old. Kindergarten, yeah. That just means you had a, you had yeah. great taste in movies at an early age. Exactly. It's an advancement. I like the yeah. way Jason yeah. says it. So what I did was I did. saw Evil Dead pop up on all these horror movie lists. So I went in with zero expectations, not knowing a thing. I went to the library. I rented something called Back a VHS a tape. Yeah. Yeah. I rented that, that too. Rented the first Evil Dead on VHS. I watched it, loved it. Immediately, every week I went back, I watched the second one, then the third one, and I fell in love with these movies to the point where I saved up my allowance money, and Aww. I went to Best Buy and bought all three of these movies on DVD so that I could force my friends to watch them when they came over. And yeah. apparently and, that's and, a and What was that, $1,200 back then? <laughs> it was, yeah, $1,200. Yeah, like, you could yeah, have bought a house. Yeah. <laughs> I should have invested. Yeah, your mom had to co-sign. <laughs> yeah. Put that there money was a loan in the yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's well, still I, paying them off, actually. See, it's funny because I think for me it was more a thing of uh, of LJ. I'm positive it, it, it was Hi, him. LJ. Uh, at some point, going, you know, as we're walking through Blockbuster looking for something to rent, you know, on a Friday night. Hey, what's that movie? No, and 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 LJ going, oh my god, you've got to see this movie. This okay. you, you have to see this. It's so whatever, scary, good, so funny, whatever. whatever. Yeah, uh, and he was usually right. Okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah. And then it was like, all right, sweet. We're going to watch a freaky movie and, you know, whatever it is we were doing at 15. And you watch it and it's just utterly ridiculous. And No, we love the hell out of it. <laughs> well, okay. I'm different. At 15, opinion. yeah. But, okay. For, I have my, uh, my obligatory age zinger before we get started. Uh -oh. um, I was born the same year as the third movie in this trilogy, Army of Darkness, Aww. came out. He's a fetus. I was, yeah. That's yep. adorable. But you're no longer the reigning youngin on the show. That's Big true. shout out to Jacob. You have been dethroned. Do I lose the young Adam name now? No. No, because you're still the younger of the Adams. Okay. But uh, we did have a guest recently on episode two for Star Wars. Uh, his name is Jacob, and he's a mere 24 years old. It was adorable. Oh, Might we get him 24. to change his name to Adam? Yeah, and, and then he'll add, yeah. be young Adam. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. We'll just start just calling him Adam. Adam. Just, I'll just yeah. be Adam. I mean, <laughs> that's what my fiance likes to remind me of. You're just Adam. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, so wait a minute. Did you recently get engaged too, Darby? Uh, I decided to compete with you, Jader, and get married. Yes. There's no competing with this sparkle oh, over here, no. sir. Here I got you. nothing but fingers right now. But uh. <laughs> oh, your death warrant isn't signed yet. <laughs> no. When's the, when, when is the sentencing? <laughs> it will be uh, in the best month of the year, October of 2022. Awesome. Awesome. Save the day. You're all invited, Hindsiders. <laughs> yes, every every single person in the audience. And Alyssa's yes. screaming yes. somewhere. Just, just send a text message to this phone number. <laughs> yes. We'll make seats available. We will crash the hell out of this wedding. <laughs> Can you imagine? any food for you, just letting you know. Yeah. BYOB. 
And food. And, and everything chairs, else, and everything probably. Else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us what what is this movie? Yes, before uh, I give the official and, synopsis, what's this movie about? Well, right? and and especially in terms of the first one. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Uh, well, there, I'll have to clear some confusion about the beginning of this movie because it confuses a lot of people. Um, Evil Dead 2, obviously a sequel to Sam Raimi's original Evil Dead, picks up right where the original let leaves off. I'll get into that in a second. And uh, basically, well, we, it does and it doesn't. And we'll get into that, I promise you. Ooh. There is an explanation. Uh, it picks up right where the first leaves off, sort of, with Ash alone in the cabin again, Losing his sanity, the only one left after having killed his girlfriend who no. was possessed by deadites. It doesn't pick up where he's alone. He drives to the cabin again with Linda all over again. There's an explanation for but all of this. But that's so confusing. I know it is. It's very confusing. Movies, uh, Isn't it great? <laughs> so... <laughs> So, okay, so go on. I'm Ash sorry. is losing his sanity at this point. He's killed his girlfriend who was possessed. Yes, it's the same girl from the first one. I will, But not the same actress. But not the same actress. They recast Linda in every movie and Linda. TV show. <laughs> There's like five Lindas at this point. <laughs> but uh, basically, he's losing his mind He's and his hand. And his hand ends up getting possessed. Mm. So basically, while he's like basically he losing his sanity as the uh, the... Necronomicon Ex Mortis continues to torture him after the original events of the original film. We have uh, a group of uh, Professor Nobi's relatives. Now, Professor Nobi, of course, is the professor who left the tape recording, read the incantations, and did all the research and had this cabin in the first place. The relatives decide to pop by and say hi to Dad, but they realize, oh, there's a man here with one hand and a bloody chainsaw is on the ground. For God's sake, what how does f- it end? <laughs> what the fuck happened? So, uh, and that's our movie. Now we have, basically, they're there for body count at this point. <laughs> and that's our movie. We're in the cabin and shit happens. He and doesn't more- have his headphones on. He it, doesn't know what's I know, going I on. I know, I <laughs> know. It's, well, okay. I, I, is, is it okay to jump straight into discussing the, the connection? Yeah. The, well, okay, well, let's... The confusing go. intro? So, the official yeah. synopsis of the movie is... As the sequel to the 1981 horror film, The Evil Dead, Ashley Williams travels to a secluded cabin. In in my notes, I'm like, again? In the woods with his girlfriend, Linda. Linda! Where they find a tape recording of a professor in a book of evil. This unleashes a bunch of evil spirits that constantly terrorize Ash. Meanwhile, a journalist, she's not a journalist, by the way. She's the daughter of Dr. Nobi. Uh, a journalist comes Might to the blogger. area to study the book of evil and Ash and her end up having to survive this swarm of evil until morning comes. Is her name not Nobi as well? It is. That's what I'm saying. They oh. describe her as a journalist in the synopsis, but nowhere in the movie oh, yeah. does it ever no, say anything about her being a journalist. She's Professor Nobi's daughter. Yeah, yeah, and she helps him do his research on uh, the Book of the Dead, but she's not a journalist. Well, in fairness, she could be. That's true. <laughs> I mean, she could that, be a plumber. That, that's some really far. Women, can, women can do anything these days, Jade. <laughs> they, it's twenty twenty one. Yeah, Are you cooking in the kitchen our entire relationship. <laughs> what have you not been telling me? <laughs> You're in trouble now. I, I'm the one who cooks dinner in my relationship. I'm just saying. Ooh, that wait, and a bulldozer that a would knock me over. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably clear up the confusing introduction. Yes, yes, yes please. Yes. Because, because, well, well, this is, for those of you who haven't seen it, um, how does Evil Dead the first end? The original Evil Dead ends with Ash killing all of his friends and his girlfriend who have become possessed, and at the very end of the film, the sun rises, the next day has started, and the uh, unseen spirit comes after him, and the movie ends with it hitting him, seemingly possessing him. That's the end of the first movie. The second movie... Sam Raimi lost the rights to the original movie. He sold it. He had to make as much money as he could off of it. He, he had a small budget. He was trying to make money off of it. So he sold the rights because it became this, this overnight cult hit in, in drive-in movie theaters, basically. So he lost the rights to the movie, and he wanted to use clips from the original movie to open up the second movie previously on Evil Dead and basically show you the clips leading up to the second film. On next week's episode of Evil Dead. <laughs> basically, the studio was like, Sam... Guests of the Evil Dead, say it. <laughs> Exactly. Sorry. Will the Nobies make it out alive? Find out next week. <laughs> no, <Yes>. they don't. <laughs> they don't. Spoiler alert, they don't. Um, but yeah, no, so Sam Raimi was like, I'd love to use clips from the first movie so people know what the hell's going on in case they start with this one. And they're like, yeah, that's not going to happen. You got nothing. Uh, Peter says no. 
And, and <laughs> so basically Sam was like, well, fuck, I don't want to refilm everything and get all the actors back. So you know what? We're going to recap the first movie in five minutes using only the girlfriend. None of the friends are going to be there. So Ash driving to the cabin for the first time again and Linda going for the first time is a recap of the first movie in five minutes. So when the spirit hits Ash in Evil Dead 2 and knocks him through the forest, that's technically the sequel part when the first one ends and the sequel begins. But I guess that, a good that, way of, that works. I guess a good way of linking them, though, is if you didn't know all of that backstory is to say, oh, well, especially with the way that Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn ends, you have to wonder if it's just the Deadites messing with him over and over and over again. Ooh. So maybe the second movie could be considered, you know, the second iteration of his round of torture. I like They're that. just making him repeat his fate over and over and over again until he finally defeats the big boss, as it were. But then, nope. You get sucked into the past only yeah. to face the deadites of well, the Well, it's not the past. Holy shit, Jader. It's, you just blew my freaking mind. It's not It's not the past. <laughs> uh, uh, he gets, in the end of the movie, he's on a different planet entirely. Oh, I thought they took oh, him yeah. back to medieval planet. times. I thought he was. I thought Medi- it was. Medieval times. Oh, I yeah, thought. Yeah, suck I th- it, Jason. I thought that it was not. Wait, no, sorry. That's Highlander 2. Sorry. <laughs> there should only have been one. Wrong two. Wrong sorry. two. Sorry, Mr. Brown's not here. I had to fill in I know gap. Highlander no. 2 is the better two. I know, but. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> one, um, of the, one of these days I'm going to make you people watch Highlander 2 just to see uh, what no oh <laughs> there's no oh Sean you've never Connery, seen it therefore there's I no interest ha- I yeah. actually haven't even seen the first Highlander oh oh see now that's the problem you have to at least see the first one. you gotta yeah. see you Highlander. are such a freaking fetus my god <laughs> I can't get over it. I watched but this. Before we what? move on with the movie, I have to comment because we just passed a moment where we were introduced to Dr. Noby's daughter and her Dr. Boy- no. B. B. <laughs> who and she has this boyfriend who is an amalgam of Kiefer Sutherland, Will Arnett, and Rowdy Roddy Piper. He's <laughs> got that mullet. That yeah, I can mullet. see that. <laughs> Wait, who was the, the first front, one? Party in the back. Kiefer Sutherland, Kiefer Sutherland, Will Arnett, and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Lost Boys okay. era Kiefer Sutherland. Oh yeah, with the bleach blonde. Yeah, for with sure. the bleach blonde mullet. For yeah. sure. So he's he has here, twenty four hours to get to his segue and kill deadites. And he's all out of kissing girlfriends. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he's here to do. Uh, the acting is so good in this movie. I love it. Well, yeah. let's let's talk a little bit about the the star, Bruce our, our, Campbell, our, our beloved Campbell. Bruce Campbell, who right. Bruce the Chin Campbell, a B movie <laughs> yeah. icon. Yeah, uh, a B movie icon, and I, I, I and he's a star of Spider Man too. <laughs> the, yes. <laughs> Best thing in it. No. The other do you remember who he was in Spider Man too? The he was, uh, Usher. Yeah. He was the usher who wouldn't let Tobey Maguire in to see Kirsten Dunst perform. Yep. He's in every every Tobey Maguire Shh. Spider-Man movie. It destroys the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh, did you, did you ever movie. watch Briscoe County Jr.? I just started it. I got it on DVD recently. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. We were about to it's make it's good. You'll, you'll be sad that they didn't pick it up for... Well, is it one season? It's only one season. It's only it's like one. 18 episodes. Yeah. 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 Some BS right there. <laughs> Well, then again, they canceled, you know. <laughs> uh, wow, that's... This moment. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. this, this moment with the Barbie oh, yeah. doll head? The, the process is so much more expedited with everybody getting possessed because, like you said, young Adam, there are only two people who go to the cabin in the first place in this particular movie. Yep. It's Linda and Ash, and Linda immediately immediately gets possessed by the deadites and so yep. Ash is forced to murder her. My question is this. The whole concept in the first movie was that uh, the kids in the cabin did the same thing where they played the tape recorder where Dr. Noby was idiot enough to read the Book of the Dead out loud, which is <laughs> a problem in multiple movies, including 1999's cinematic, class- cinematic classic, yeah, that, The yeah. Mummy. Yeah. But you don't read out loud, come on. But that's what Dr. Noby does. It brings all the deadites to life. But in this version... Well, maybe he was doing the book on tape version. <laughs> like all, By well, audio, all, yeah. random day <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He was making the audi- audible version. This um, yeah. is audible. Period. Yeah. Narrated by In case Josh you can't read. Yeah. Bantam Keith Double Ashley Day Dell Audio safe. presents. Oh, that's what it's called. <laughs> I messed up the name big time. But so in this version, in the in the sequel, I the first one you have the, the the recording and then that brings the deadites back. Okay. But then in this one, you have the daughter of the scientist with the two missing pages from the Book of the Dead that he would have needed to get rid of the Deadites in the first place. Right. So then why was it even necessary for Ash to play the recording? Because then it's like they summoned the Deadites all over again, when in fact, they Dr. Noby never got rid of them. So where did they go? Why did Ash need to summon them again? 
That's a really good point because he talks about killing his wife, Henrietta, and burying her in the cellar. Yeah, but that yeah. doesn't kill her. She's still possessed because the deadites are still around. The, but for the some reason, took a nap when no one was at the cabin. I guess they went dormant, and then they were like, <sighs> "Oh, there's that recording again. Here, here we go, killing again." Someone like, said the words. Yeah, I guess well, so. Well, you know, I, I, I don't want to be the person who's you know too forgiving. Um, the force, but. <laughs> This is basically an art house movie that is also an entertaining good movie, and that's a very very rare thing. Okay. You know, it's it's just it's I'll go not, with that. it's not in David Lynch territory where, you know, the the abstraction is just so far out there you don't even know you know what the actual conclusion is. So it's it's a different movie, and I I can forgive it a lot. <laughs> You know, in terms it's of slapstick humor on Bruce Campbell's part, it's just yeah. Oh, yeah but yeah. I, I can forgive if there's a plot hole or if there's something you know, because it's I don't know, it's weird. It's like watching a painting. Oh, there are tons of continuity yeah. errors and plot holes. Like it, well, yeah. they're riddled. It's riddled with those. Oh, this trilogy right. is known for its continuity errors and plot holes. I mean, each movie starts out fucking up the ending of the last one in some which way, which is awesome. Yes. Yeah, which I mean, I think yes, that's great. Is. Yes. Had a whole article about it. But, okay, so Linda returns. She's possessed by the Deadites, and she returns as already completely decomposed feminine Jack Skellington and does a little <laughs> jig outside in the woods for Ash. Before, oh, he was on last week's movie. <laughs> before she is decapitated by Ash, and then they have a chainsaw battle, which is super exciting. And <laughs> apparently Shout there's... Out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Well, he's immune to COVID already after yeah, the first movie. Is. My God, he's been covered with every bodily fluid known to man. By the way, if you're wondering why the blood is multiple colors in this movie, black, green, all that stuff, it's to get around the, uh, the X rating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, makes I sense. I was unaware yeah. of that. Yep. But uh, apparently there's a bit of lore behind this whole woodshed scene in the sense that the when Ash goes to finish off Linda once and for all with her decapitated head. Uh, he says woodshed, but it was dubbed or something <laughs> along those lines. And so it's yeah. very Rocky horror. When people go to see it in theaters now, Evil Dead 2, they're like woodshed. And they, they yell it back when yep. they're watching the movie. And allegedly when Bruce Campbell was on set with Kurt Russell uh, doing, um, what's that famous movie? Uh, Escape, Escape from, from L.A. L.A. The sequel. To uh, the Escape sequel, from- yeah. <laughs> Yet another Oof. bad sequel. Terrible. Yeah, uh, terrible. Apparently, allegedly, Kurt Russell asked Bruce Campbell to say Woodshed. Yep. Like, that's the story. So I, I'm up. like, it's not even a great story. It's just, apparently, that's just some of the cultish lore that goes along with this sequel. I read that in Bruce Campbell's book. Yes, I read Bruce Campbell's oh, book. Oh, so it was, he actually did that. Yeah. So it's not a legend. It no, actually it's happened. Bruce Campbell confirmed it, okay. yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> So, Josh, you've been awfully quiet. Any more thoughts about this movie? <laughs> Tell me how much you love it, Josh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say the movie didn't make me laugh, because it most certainly did. I mean, just watch the movie. It's absolutely ridiculous from end <laughs> to end. But I'm, I'm just, I'll be the first to say I really didn't get most of it. And that might be because I was napping through many, many parts of it. But And yeah, you'd wake up during the strangest parts and you were like, babe, how long is this movie? I was like, you've been asleep for 30 seconds. Like, <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, it's definitely definitely a movie you, you have to stay awake and watch. You can't, you know, uh, duck in and out of it. Uh, you know, again, like a David Lynch film. You know, you skip a couple <laughs> I mean, scenes there. Like he does that to you on purpose. He yeah, makes you feel yeah. like you've been napping when you haven't. The movie is so utterly bizarre and off the wall and every scene is so out of out of nowhere that if you kind of come in and watch different scenes out of context, you'll be like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. I think, I think exactly. that's part of the charm. Part I of, still felt that way, even though I watched it all the way through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think, recommend a lot of booze or something else to yeah, watch this movie. Whatever yeah. you, you know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I, tr- I tried that. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Many Allegedly. have. <laughs> many, many have. But yeah, so... Uh, Bruce Campbell is doused in blood, which is pretty typical of these movies. Well, and his I, blood hasn't disappeared. He almost I, drowned. He almost drowned uh, in the scene where he shoots a holes in the wall and then all oh, that yeah. There's a comes geyser of blood coming yeah. at him. Bruce Campbell yeah. actually almost drowned doing that scene. Wow. He and Brendan Fraser can commiserate over that because they both almost died in different projects. Like when they wow. hanged Brendan Fraser in The Mummy, the yep. first one, mm-hmm. he he was dead for, I think, about 17 seconds. Holy crap. Yeah. I didn't know that. And so I didn't know Bruce Campbell almost drowned Sam Raimi. Yeah. <laughs> Murdered by Sam Raimi's Sam Raimi special is, effects. Sam Raimi is so hard on Bruce Campbell. What a way to anything. go. Well, I mean, looks. Uh, Stuff like that happens, though. I mean, uh, Twilight Zone, the movie, 
You mm-hmm. guys know the story behind that, right? I do do yeah. tell. Um, who was uh, who directed that? Um, there was they had a mo- multiple out. directors doing each story. Yeah, but this Steven the one Spielberg or Land- John Landis. I think it was John Landis. John Landis. Yeah, I think it was John Landis. Um, and he was filming a sequence where I think the story was a Vietnam vet who had murdered someone like goes back in time and so they, they it's set in a vietnamese village yeah. yep. john landis uh, steven spielberg joe dante george miller yeah it was it was, it was landis yeah. yeah um and they had a scene where all the actors and it was um that's gonna drive me nuts what a great story. Ah, the, um. guy, uh, the guy from Combat. Anyway, um, not know. Lee Marvin. Uh, but he had two Vietnamese kids, and he was supposed to run across this creek, you know, fake waterway. Oh, and a helicopter no. was going to come in oh, no. over them. The helicopter, the rotor hit something, spun, and it it it's actually, the film is out there on YouTube. You can actually, oh, you can see right up to... The second before. Did, I'm going to avoid did the watching that. Just the, oh, yeah. Oh, they all died? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, thought it was just the, I thought it was just yeah. the guy. It was, yeah, yeah no, no, no. no once was, he mentioned the children, I was like, this is not oh, going to end well. Well, yeah. now I can't enjoy Aww. Twilight Zone the movie anymore. Sweet Jesus, Jason. Yeah, yeah. thanks for and that well, bombshell. Yeah, but no, so I mean, the point is, it does actually happen, though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I mean, just like how Mr. Gower uh, beat that poor kid in It's a Wonderful Life to the point where his little ears did actually bleed. Oh, so, you know, I mean, didn't Brandon Lee die on the set of Brandon the Lee? Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Uh, um, but okay. Yeah. So we're to the point in the movie. Oh, it looks well, like. Yeah. We oh, are yes. actually at our at our first break time. Wow. So, already. Oh. Yeah. Time Zooming flies through. when you're drinking. <laughs> um, <laughs> Very we, brewing. We are going to take a little break and be back in about. One second. We'll see. One. Maybe. And we're back. Hello. And we are continuing to watch uh, the second of the Still? Evil Dead trilogy. Oh, God. Will there be a fourth one? Yes, there will be. Next year on HBO Max, Evil Dead Rises without Bruce Campbell. Oh. They just keep Aww. happening. And there was a remake and, and a TV yeah. show. But yeah. How was the remake? Remake's solid, but it's straight up dark horror, super gory, no comedy at all. It takes itself very seriously. Oh, oh so I'd probably commit suicide after watching. Oh, that you'd hate it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that sounds. Hate horrible. it more than you hated this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, what's the fun in that? Well, well the TV the f- show went back to the it brought Bruce Campbell back and did yeah. this again. So, huh? The so, fun so I'm having. Okay, so there's going to be a fourth one, but no Bruce. <laughs> no Bruce. Oh, but gosh. Sam Raimi's uh, heavily involved. So. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, uh, Daphne and. Freddie are now on the scene. <laughs> I see Freddie. <laughs> well, she's they got don't... an ascot just like Freddie. <laughs> yeah, she does actually. <laughs> oh wow, more yeah. Velma, honestly. Yeah. Well, they team up with the backwater yokels who. <laughs> Hi. <started> <laughs> the toothless backwater yokel and his girlfriend who spits a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like she's, it's like she's chewing on char or something. We got like a that. spitter here, yeah. little Bobby yeah. Joe. She's a spitter. Doesn't Bye really, Joe. and she doesn't really have the look of a spitting redneck. You no, know, she doesn't. She's a little. She's too... never done this in her life. This actress has never actually chewed tobacco in her life. You can yeah. well, she's chewing on it like it's bubble gum. First yeah. of all, <laughs> and it's just like okay. Did you ever see the Sandlot? What God. Was, what was the casting director thinking? I mean, hot girl. <laughs> Who can we get? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that or somebody's cousin or. Who will do this? For Who will do this for five dollars? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, you know, I'm curious too. Wh- what happened to the rest of the cast? Because we, you know, of course, Bruce Campbell went on to become Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell, yeah. Um, Nobody else in this Bruce. movie went on to do anything. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, let's see about that because I kind of recognize... Sam Raimi went on to do a couple things. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. Sam Raimi. He's he, Spider Man. Yeah, he's a busy guy. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never saw that. Really good. Very really British. Very funny. Oh, Wait, okay. Cool. Drag Me to Hell from 2009. I don't know. Another horror comedy. Shocking. All right. Good. That's that's one for the queue. You know, and, and it's great, too. This is such a good uh, Halloween movie. Oh, it's perfect for the Halloween season. Yeah. Because it's, it's you know, it's not really all that Hand scary. <laughs> it's a good, terrible. like, drinking, get your friends over for yeah. Halloween kind of movie. <laughs> Watch Bruce Campbell hit himself in the head yeah. with oh, plates. The, the physical comedy in this movie is so underrated. It's off the scales. It's very Edward, Edward Norton in Fight Club, except worse. He's alone? <laughs> yeah. Except worse. Yeah. The biggest thing that's noticeable about this movie is the change in budget. The original movie, I think, had a budget of about 375000 whereas this movie had a $3.5 million budget. Wow. And it shows. 
I don't know. Apparently, uh, the girl who plays Annie went on to be on Law and Order for a bit. So oh, well, that's oh, really yeah. all I can see. You know, it's it's funny though because um, you know talking about the numbers and thinking about what the box office was, it's astonishing to go and look at the box office figures today and look how bad the movie industry is doing. If you go to Box Office Mojo and you look up like last Sunday, I did this because uh, I was I was looking something else up. And it's, you know, number two movie, James Bond made, you know, $40 million this weekend. Sure. But you go to about number 12 or 13 in the entire country, and they're literally on Sunday made $4,000. Oh, wow. Yikes. So it's like, and all these movies up here at the top are quickly tumbling down. Yeah. So yeah. I, I just, I don't know how the industry is going to survive. It's, you know. Talking about the whole movie theater closure thing. Oh, I mean, I think we're going to lose ours. Most yeah. likely. Yeah. Here's the thing. If you put movies up on streaming services and give people the option, they're going to get their friends over and watch it at home. Yeah. It well, saves, it's, it's, it's so money. much cheaper. Yeah. HBO it is. Yeah. June. I yeah, mean, yeah, the yeah. Dune movies getting released simultaneously. Well, exactly. and that's part of the reason why John Krasinski made such a big deal out of only releasing A Quiet Place 2 in theaters. He mm -hmm. wouldn't release it to streaming. He didn't make that kind of a deal. He wanted people to go out and see it. Yeah. So, yeah. That's and I, I totally agree with that, you know. And it's weird because whenever I was a kid, it was a movie would come out and then that was it. It was gone forever. Yeah. And then as I got older and, and VHS came out, then it was, you were well. You alive before VHS? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know there was a time I before. Several of us in the room. <laughs> yeah. Were. I mean, no. I think I. I think VHS does predate me. My parents didn't have Is it a one. film reel. You put on a projector. Or? Well, we had that too. I think I was. Yeah. The, yeah I was yeah. definitely around when VHS was too. But I don't think we had a VCR when I was a kid. Yeah. I don't. Which is yeah. why it took me so long to see Star Wars because we didn't have the tapes because we didn't have a VCR. Right. So. But but no the so you know when I'm very young movies come and go and that's it they're gone forever. Then it's the movie will come out and a year later they'll release it on home video. Right. And they would always put it was literally sometimes it was more than a year because they wanted every last nickel they could get from the theaters. Oh, yeah. yeah. And from yeah. playing it on television. Yeah. In fact, the first movie to break that rule was Tim Burton's Batman. Really? Yeah. It came out like two months after the movie. Do you ever see Michael sold like hotcakes too? Do you ever see Michael Keaton's speech about that? Because mm -hmm. there were so many naysayers about him being Batman. He and oh, Jack yeah. Nicholson went up to accept an award, and he was like, "Yeah, to all you people who said I couldn't be Batman, well, you don't know what family I come from. You tell me I can't do it, boy, watch me make it happen. So <laughs> bring those hate letters, keep them coming." And I was just like, "Way to go, Michael Keaton!" And oh, then, yeah. and then, and then for internet comments, yeah. yeah, people lost their mind over the Michael Keaton thing because he was the funny guy. What He's would our Mr. trolls Mom? do? Yeah. Do they care enough to write to us? Wait, say what? What would our trolls do? Do they even know oh, how to write? They, they, I think they communicate in clicks and whistles. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> in drivel. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, back to... That was very Shatner how I said that. Um, anyway, anyway, we've <laughs> got to get back to the movie. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Ash's hand is now possessed because his decapitated girlfriend bit him. And uh, it's basically it... From the Adams family scampering around the cabin now. But more lethal, more kill. Well, yeah. far more lethal. Serial yes. killer. The hand was thing. Yeah. Thing. Oh, thing. cousin it. Cousin it was the hand. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Thing yeah. is the hand. Thing and it. You're totally yeah. right. <laughs> Mixed up all the time. <laughs> On behalf of hindsight is horrifying. I'd like to apologize uh, because uh, <laughs> Darth's fiance will never live to be her husband for correcting her on. <laughs> The YouTube. <laughs> and that was the end of Josh. Oh. Yeah, that, that's when I died. He never came on another episode again. <laughs> never even spent time with a woman before Jesus. But uh, no, yeah, so the thing hey, is hey, basically... you're talking about some people in our audience, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's Nate on the incel A. Oh, that's why they all hate me. Got it. <laughs> so, yeah, Bruce Campbell is now in a shootout with his own hand. Yeah. Okay, answer me this. Why does his ear twitch like that? Because they focus really sharply on his left side and you see his ear just kind of pull back like a dog's it's almost. It's to show that he, he's using his ears to hear where the hand is on the wall. Yeah. Logic. Evil dead. Like a dog. <laughs> because people like can just dog. like... The language. All right, the language of cinema. Yes. The, oh, uh, this is where Bruce Campbell blood. almost died. <laughs> yep, Bruce Campbell almost died. A right literal here. geyser of blood coming out. Of Drowning, the wall. coughing, almost dying. Well, yep. because it's not like being hit with water where you can cough it up more easily. No. That's thick, like this is thick syrupy. Corn syrup. Yeah. yeah. And then it's that, black and yep. <laughs> 
then but but then it's okay because it all comes back off him again. So yeah, that's exactly. that's so you know the damage yeah. is reversed. So exactly. There's plenty yeah. of blood on yeah. his face, but literally none on his clothes. He was in no danger. Logic. <laughs> And I love the kingdom. Yeah, and it's so funny how in a movie with this much gore, they don't say ass, they say butt. Yeah, that's true. It's cute. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's cute. There's really no cursing in the Evil Dead movies except for the next one, but yeah. (laughs) Like <laughs> so, a third of them. Well, they got rid of all the gore, yeah. according to you, so they had to substitute it with something. Yeah, they got rid of the gore, and Ash says "fuck." So, you know. yeah. Oh, and good, this, bad. This right and here, just good. I think this is one of the parts that you woke up during, baby, because uh, <laughs> Ash, like, Ash oh, gets doused in scene? blood, and then all of a sudden it turns into Brave Little Toaster from Hell, where <laughs> you, mean, all the you mean the Brave Little Toaster? <laughs> uh, excuse me, how many clown sequences are in this movie? Zero. Okay. I there. don't know. The, the wormy looking <laughs> no, Marietta version no. kind of looks like a clown, an mm. evil clown. But I like how Bruce can, or Ash loses his mind to the point where he's like, fuck it, I'm just going to laugh. He's dancing along, with, along the with the appliances in the house and the paintings, <laughs> the mounted uh, heads. It's trophies. awesome. Everything's just like getting down like old country tambourine or jamboree, whatever it's called. And he just starts like bending, <laughs> just getting down. <laughs> it's the I dumbest see? shit. Like, I just it's, don't. What in the it's world? It's not Ibsen. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed oh to be stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's it's just this. It's like a Disney movie. It's like if Disney made a horror movie. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, so a, a, a of very a very are... gory horror movie. I would love to see that. Yeah, so would I. Yeah, and so here's another thing. Given all the the geysers of blood that they shoot at poor Bruce Campbell, you would think that his severed arm would be a little bloodier. When he loses his hand, oh, but yeah, no, like, uh, he just wraps it up with duct tape and gauze, he, and he's good to go. Maybe he cauterized ca- it off screen. Yeah, I was thinking he cauterized it. Yeah. Did anybody notice? Because when uh, his he takes his own hand off, he puts it under the bucket and then weights that bucket down with a bunch of books. Did anybody notice the book that was on top of the bucket? A farewell to arms. Yeah, oh. by Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> I did not notice that. How Rainy. disarming. <laughs> 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 oh, indeed. Um, I love how obviously this, I love how obviously it's just his fist under a. Under oh yeah, a, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, that's why they. I think that's really why they had to give him a chainsaw for an arm because they were like, "All right, you look ridiculous." Yeah, no, it, no, cool? no. They no did it because it's awesome. it's awesome. <laughs> it's also just amazingly cool. Yeah, See, they knew that boys like you guys would be like, "Oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen." Like, well, forget. I mean, when I saw it at age twelve, I got a heart on. <laughs> yeah, my first yeah. Heart on. Oh, I was a little oh, older, I think. So, uh, Simmy. Smack yeah. that image right out of my head. <laughs> Anywho. Um. <laughs> but, okay, so the back tooth, or the slack-jawed yokel. Yes. Backwoods yokel. I combined two different expressions. His name uh, is good old reliable Jake. <laughs> As my grandpappy, old reliable. Cleeter to say. the slack-jawed yokel. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I know that is because of the Evil Dead musical. He has a whole number where he sings about how he's good old reliable Jake. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, Jake and Bobby Joe. Right, Bobby Joe and uh, Robert Joseph. Actually, <laughs> Bobby Joe just his friends. She's named after her daddy. He always wanted a boy, but he was perpetually disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so she, Noby, and her boyfriend Rowdy Roddy uh, Arnett. <laughs> Uh, Sutherland show up and uh, they, they all assume that Ash murdered her parents because he's doused in blood. There's he's a bloody chainsaw on the ground. Their assumption. And Don't blame them. And he's got the I, boomstick. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they think that she that he murdered her parents. You knew that it was called a boomstick. <laughs> I did a little research. There, yeah. It I'm a high functioning sociopath. I did my research. Oh, nice. But anyway, uh, yeah, so they get upset with him and think that he murdered the parents. And they so get they upset put him in the cellar. They lock his ass They get upset the with him. They're, They're mildly reality. upset. Yeah. They, get, <laughs> they cause a kerfuffle. Yes. I would say it's the same cellar that they locked his sister in in the last movie, but she doesn't exist anymore. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you ever really exist after you've been raped by a tree? Oh, good point. Good point. You, <laughs> which is not. Which is which is not in this movie. There is there a tree was, killing. Yes. It, it, yes. They don't, they don't full on. There was yeah. no assault yeah. of an arboreal nature. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> side note. I'll see myself out. <laughs> side note: in the musical, it's arborophilia. <laughs> That's how yeah. I would say it. Aborophilia. Yeah. I, yeah. Aborophilia. Okay. In the musical, it's literally a guy dressed as a tree dry humping. That's all that it is. Uh, so she would be in a... In a wait, no. Aborophobic? <laughs> I mean, you would be after she's, experience. That's what I'm saying. One yeah. would expect but that... But men don't want her after that because she's arborant. 
There's, splinter, uh, <laughs> there's, there's splinters up in there, man. Lots of splinters. God damn, way to kill. Just like, logistically, just no. <laughs> hey, my fiance left. That's all that counts. Anyway, <laughs> I made us talking about the movies. So uh, you're stuck with okay. life. Uh, uh, good luck with that. I'm in. So, so Adam, what is it? That, you know, because bad guys, good bad guys, good villains. Good bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, nice. They have, uh, you know, some sort of goal that they're trying to achieve. Now, in this movie, I, re I recognize that it's not really bad guys. It's more of man versus nature. You could replace all the ghosts with wolves or a giant wall of water. It's the same movie. Yeah. Sure. Um, but what do the the deadites want? And and who are who are these deadites? What's their what's the motivation? deal? What's their deal? What's the deal with deadites? <laughs> all that's really known is they're demonic spirits who want to. They want to live life again on Earth, so they they possess bodies to sort of live life, I guess, to have a physical manifestation on Earth and, and rule the planet. That's their kind of goal. But they're either utterly careless or completely idiotic because they do these things that immediately get them chopped into pieces or destroyed. Like, I mean, good if point. life is their ultimate goal, then why do they keep messing? They with are people? dumb. I mean, I mean, they're not. I never said they were intelligent. Yeah, yeah, they're not good at. They're it. manic. <laughs> they're they're, yeah. they're like. Be right, demons. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's there's. Yeah, this Sam is Raimi's not Pazuzu. Yep. Henrietta. Pazuzu. That's a, that is Sam Raimi's brother Ted Raimi. Yes, it is. Famous from such television shows as Hercules Ash versus Evil Dead. Oh, oh. Hercules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. So poor Ted. Apparently, that suit that he wore was so hot. Ted. Oh my God, Ted! <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so, is it like time for lunch? Anyway, uh, Henrietta, played by Ted Raimi, as you said, young Adam, uh, the fat suit that he was wearing, it was so ridiculously hot that he kept sweating into it. Yeah. So by the end, when Henrietta's character is floating and flying around and torturing Annie, <laughs> you see like white liquid coming out of her wait, ears. Wait, 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 yeah. what? <laughs> because what it's, it's sweat and talcum powder. Oh! oh. <laughs> Not the kind of liquid <laughs> okay. you're thinking, Jace. Jeez, was, what kind of Tuesday I, have you been having? I, I, so, I was wait. very confused for a second. Yeah. Because... <laughs> You, you guys know, are dirty. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, swally assault. Cheers, yeah. <laughs> and Rowdy Roddy t gets taken out with one headshot. That's just like... Disappointing. And then he immediately becomes a deadite. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He gets taken out with just a, a quick slam up against a wall. See, I... <laughs> oh, this is a good yes. Poor Bobby Joe, deep throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a spitter and a deep throater. So, what I don't understand is how you know Ash can be possessed after being bitten on the hand, but Bobby Joe, nothing really happens to her, even though she deep throats an eyeball. You're forgetting the almost forgotten plot that Ash also got possessed earlier in the movie, and randomly, when it's convenient, turns into an evil deadite and with then two hands. With two hands. At some times. And then and when he, through the power of love, when he sees his girlfriend's necklace, turns back into ash it's again. The and then it's never addressed again. Yeah. <laughs> never again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they make fun of that in through a lot of Through the looking shit, glass. Yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, well again, something it, about that. Yeah, it's, it's, like I said, it's like an art house movie that somehow is a funny, good, you know, horror comedy. Uh, but it has that sensibility to it, that abstractness. Um, like a, a David Lynch project, you know, where it's, you don't really care so much because it's like, that's not the point, you know, like they're, you know, uh, that's not what you bought the ticket. for. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You came here to see chainsaw blood yes. and weird shit and great lines. And we're never out of blood. <laughs> and as a person who is not a fan of one liners, uh, this franchise is the exception. Army of Darkness is is oh, when yeah. they kind of amped up Ash's one-liners to eleven. So good. Oh, well, yeah. I think this one has the the first one-liner that people really jumped on board with. Groovy. Yeah, he's got groovy, and then uh, when he says "swallow this," and then shoots. The yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he should have yelled that when the eyeball was flying at Bobby Joe. Swallow this. Swallow this. Because <laughs> that's what fun she fact. Does. Robert Shaw wanted that to be his last words in Jaws, but Spielberg nixed it. Oh, that would have been wah, badass wah. as fuck. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, there is a callback in the sequel to the first one where uh, the deadite that's locked in the cellar is emotionally manipulating those who are alive and well up top because this time it's the mom. Henrietta. Yeah, that's just not cool. And well, what's the only deep thing they did was that they had the mom manipulating the daughter, Annie, and she's like, uh, if that diamond ring turns brass, mom is going to buy you a looking glass. And the looking glass is the necklace 
that Ash gives to Linda in the first place. It is. So yeah. they that's the one deep connection that they make throughout yeah. the movie, so I'll give it that. These isn't movies that, are very weird deep. lullaby? It's like an odd I feel like odd they song. changed the Most lyrics of them are. to the yeah. song. Yeah. I mean, you know, all the nursery well, Wait, what are the songs. lyrics in this? I don't know. I feel like the lyrics were different than I learned them when um, I was a kid. It's... Uh, oh, little God. Baby, don't say a word. Mama's going to buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's going to buy you a diamond ring. Yeah, that, diamond ring turns brass. Mama's going to buy you a looking glass. Um, and if that looking glass is broke, Mama's going to buy you a billy goat. Those are the right words. I thought it was if that diamond ring don't shine, something else that rhymes with shine. <laughs> See? You don't know. Mandela. Uh, it's the Mandela, uh, effect. Mandela effect. None of us remember the same Let's song. Look it up. <laughs> look it up. <laughs> Well, 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 Darth is doing dead that. Mole a deadite over here. <laughs> Who literally only eats hair, I guess. Yeah. yeah that's what, I mean, if that's what you're into, I guess. I mean, hey, you're dead. Who are you, man? <laughs> Why is it, you know, I, I know you're dead and all, but do you have to be such dicks? <laughs> you know? Just an asshole. I mean, is that how that works? You should have at least bit that's, her face off. I mean, like Mother Teresa, she dies, she immediately becomes a horrible bitch. <laughs> I well, don't it's just know. like with the, the sharks in Deep Blue Sea. You're like, what chemicals were they putting in their brains? The ones that enhance the part of the brain that makes them assholes? Yeah. Like, that's, I mean, yeah. what happened to these deadites? They clearly became complete jackasses. Yeah. <laughs> and what what happened to Rowdy Roddy Piper? Why is his face like, why doesn't he have a regular mouth like the rest of them? Because deadites. It's like, he's, he's like three-fourths teeth. Because. Like, he be looks like something out of Beetlejuice. Because there was somebody on set who was in charge of making these things, and he said, hey, dude, check this out. And Sam Raimi went, love it. Use it. Yeah. I love how every deadite ever that got killed in these movies has red blood until Rowdy Roddy Sutherland uh, gets chopped up with the axe, and he's just green alien blood. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they're getting around the X rating again, but, you know. No, I do they even still have X rating? Is, is that even a thing, a thing anymore? I think, I think so. Even looking at, um, I think we were watching Dexter or something like that. That show would never have been considered safe for teens when I was growing up, but now it's like sixteen and over. Yeah, I mean they have to edit movies down to maintain an R rating, but they don't actually give it an X rating anymore. Yeah, no, I don't think. Do they even have NC seventeen? Well, NC seventeen, yeah, because that was the thing. Like X rating was never an mm -hmm. official rating. It was. It was originally just this thing when the MPAA said no. Yeah, yeah like they not, wouldn't acknowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how NC-17 fits into that, because I think in my entire lifetime, like, three NC-17 movies. Well, and yeah, I think they that weren't. was more based on, like, sexual stuff. Yeah. Like, like Madonna's agreed. movie was NC-17. Purple Rain. <laughs> you, you, go, yeah. you go to see an X-rated movie for something really gory and fucked up, you go to see NC-17 to see some vag and some boob. <laughs> I guess. <Man>. How succinct. <laughs> yeah. Explanation. Did Churchill say that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, his parrot did. No, his parrot did. <laughs> 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 Badge. <laughs> My. What did he say? He said nothing. <laughs> Badge. I don't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> I say, oh boy, are you okay? <laughs> Do you need a cup of tea? Uh, but it, I don't know. So his parrot was cursing at me across the room. But yeah. We have so, no follow up to that. No, we don't. <laughs> nothing. So, uh,. <laughs> Come to find another... Uh, oh, also, the demons have some sort of a visual problem. They, yeah. ha they have, like, an astigmatism. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. They're they're, all, well, they're all inbred. There's no one around. It's pretty convenient. Yeah. You know, but you know, well, uh, but it's funny, because what, what I'm joking about is, you know, the demon POV, The there's a filter on it, uh, or I think they're just using a shorter lens or something like that. But <laughs> I like the fact, though, that Sam Raimi, when he made this movie, there's all these things that he's got to tick off. You know, whenever he's looking through all the, the, the script and the storyboards, you know, it's like, Can well. Can I throw blood at someone? Can I put someone like in a It's like blood color, this. What are the demons? Everything has his little touch to it. Yeah. And there's so many little times where you can see a decision Sam Raimi made. And I like that because if you like a movie where you can see the director's fingerprints. Yeah. I think it really makes it a lot more enjoyable. Oh, and, yeah. and this is. Just well, there's up so with few them. directors who can even do that anymore. I mean, I sadly, I think Tim yeah. Burton's one of the few left where you're like, oh, this is the latest Tim Burton 
picture for him and her. I would say him and Tarantino personally. Tar- yeah. Tarantino, yeah. But definitely. with Sam Raimi, like yeah. obviously, I, when I was a kid, I I saw the Spider Man trilogy before I watched the Evil Dead movies. Same. Yeah. So yeah. when you watch the Evil Dead movies and then you go back and watch the Spider Man trilogy again, you can see all of the Sam Raimi isms from the Evil Dead movies carried over into a lot of the Spider Man trilogy. A little bit. I saw a lot of the Green Goblin like physicality in the Evil Dead movies. Yeah. That is one of them. Rewatch the scene in Spider Man Two where uh, the doctors are working on uh, Doctor Octopus's uh, tentacles in the in the hospital. Yeah, it's full on Evil Dead. I mean, the guy I grabs a chainsaw that, yeah. and then they zoom in frantically, and it's like he's fighting. And then, off of the course, the whole and, no. Well, and it, it's yeah. so it's ridiculous. It, oh wow! It, one interesting thing difference uh, between your experience and mine is for me when I heard that Sam Raimi was going to direct Spider Man. Oh, it was it you was a totally different set of it, it's completely backwards. So it was me and my friends going. What? <laughs> this is going to be we'll messed up. Well, I'm going right. to go see the first one at least, um, <laughs> and I did. I don't see think what I, color that's. I don't even. Leads. I don't know if I saw the uh, the other two. Oh, I have. The I have like one's the best. Spider Man Two is the best one. Absolutely. I have no memory. I'm just not a. Oh, the I, second one's amazing, and that's usually not the case ever. Yeah, Sam, but, Raimi, uh, Sam Raimi made two of the best twos ever. And yeah, what's the other best two? This. Oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I respectfully disagree. Highlander two, obviously. Highlander oh, two. Yeah. yeah. What was the the subtitle on that? Highlander two, the quickening. The quickening. It's a but terrible subtitle. Jeeping. Well, but there was actually Highlander two, the quickening, was so bad, and the director Boy. Russell Russell <laughs> McK- or, uh, yeah Russell McKay, uh, the director knew it was so bad that he went back later and completely re-edited the movie. Which movie and was d- this? Highlander 2 oh. and dubbed in terribly recorded dialogue over certain parts <laughs> and made Highlander 2 colon the quickening dash the renegade cut the Sub renegade story cut. Yeah. <laughs> oh and Lord. it's hilarious oh, god. <laughs> oh my god okay so we're at a point in the movie where uh Dr. Nobi his spirit materializes and advises the kids in the cabin. This is the one dumb part in the movie, I think. This is the one part in the movie I think is really stupid. Well, it, it's died. the exposition man. Yeah, the exposition. expositional. Yeah. He died, and he's telling the kids like those two pages that I've never seen that Annie brought back. They're your salvation. Well, That's how you stop the dead. It's just not realistic. Life. It's not realistic at all. I mean, there. Are, I don't get it. It's the one missing piece. So <laughs> yeah, but all of them can definitely read that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you must God, fight the can. boss battle and get the last two pages. Yes. Well, they already have the last two pages. Yeah. They're yeah, right there. Yeah. But then, oh yeah, what oh, a yeah. Scooby Doo moment, honey! You're holding my hand too hard. I know. I'm not holding your hand. Where's Scooby's next when you need him, Velma? <laughs> I'd like to see Scooby and the gang versus the Dead Eyes. They do better. Oh, oh my God, I would kill to see I, that. I, I would Scooby watch would, like, this shit. They go to the cabin. The, the, the Scooby and the gang go to the cabin. I would love that. That would be... that. Would be, okay, call Linda Cardellini. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't care who they cast for the rest of them. But Linda she's Cardellini gotta, needs to She's got to come back again, yeah. <laughs> she's amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... At this point, uh, Bobby Jean, girl. Billy Bobby Joe, Joe. Billy, Billy Nor- Jean. Norma Ray. <laughs> She's not my lover. Um, Mary Sue. <laughs> Zachary Quinto uh, <laughs> is running through the woods. Because she's that girl. Yeah, because she's, yeah, she's run through the world. Uh, run through the woods, get killed, girl. Because uh-huh. it's Evil Dead and we need another tree kill. Yeah, well, that's what, I, what happened, uh, Jade? Well, was, I was, was about to be freaking <laughs> livid with Darby because I was like, seriously, there's not more tree rape. Please... I no was more, honest. No more arboreal assault of the sexual nature. Mr. Darby, please. would you explain what, what Jade is talking, what she's referring to in detail? Me? Yeah. Messiah. <laughs> well, if anybody here watched the first Evil Dead, you know the five-minute sequence of the tree and, and Cheryl. <laughs> that one night. Arborophilia. Every single orifice. I mean, yeah, you saw Arboro that. erotic. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So that movie—I guarantee you—that's a thing. I mean, that scene got that movie. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. That movie was Roll banned in a lot of countries for that scene. It's, really? Yeah, that scene alone. It's got like it banned. tentacle porn with a tree. Did <laughs> so she just <laughs> explode coming over the hill? Like, they the a, uh, orange bud puddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the same one you know, that Ash fell right? into. Yes. Uh, but instead of raping the girl this time, the tree simply. Uh, Throws he her into another. Her. Yeah. yeah, he thwunks her. I would say eat, eats her, maybe. 
You can see that there's that cool They all have mouths, though, you're right. The, where the little branches are going in her face. It's so cool. So yeah, artistic. It, yeah, it uh, it eats her it's very, soul. It's very which is funny. That's a thing monsters say in movies like this. Like, I'm going to eat, eat your, your soul. soul. I don't really actually know what that would, like... How do you um, eat a soul? Is Ask it, the Dementors. Okay. <laughs> the Dementors. That's the worst Deal. part about prison is the Dementors. <laughs> I'm Prison Mike. <laughs> you don't go out into the woods. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> and on that note, we are coming to our second break. Yay. Let's so, go enjoy some variant beer like yes. the Salty Peach. Mine's all gone. No, is it? Yeah, street is amazing. Nice. Norcross Street, very good choice. Always. <laughs> we love your beer variant. Take me away. They're sponsoring this next break, so we'll be back in approximately one, one second. second. One. And we're back. Hello. That was a long second. Take oh a shot God. every time Jake yells Bobby Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Joe. Um, Robert Josephine. So before we get back into the movie, uh, Darby, I'm curious about this collection that you have Brought to share with the crowd tonight. So why don't you walk us yes, through do the this, Antiques Roadshow for <laughs> and and all three dollars that it's worth. <laughs> I wish I paid three dollars for this stuff. Uh, this is sadly only a fraction of my collection, but uh, well, oh, only so much stuff would fit in the room. Yeah, I know. These are on loan from his personal collection. Yeah, his personal <laughs> collection uh, on exhibit temporarily here. Besides the fact that I'm wearing an Evil Dead T-shirt, uh, I have my my little stuffed ash over here that I got. At uh, Toys R Us when it was going out of business. Oh, look at his um, little chainsaw! Yeah, it's got a little. It's so adorable. You it's just adorable. want to. You want your baby to yeah. just cuddle up with him. And he feel want to grow up. He's an evil dead kid. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I like that. It You're plays welcome. Back into the whole uh, thing. The whole thing from uh, your <laughs> elementary school the chainsaw. Wait, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember seeing it because a, I can't remember the whole thing, and b, yeah, it's a little bit dark. But it's this is going to be my husband. <laughs> Wait, this uh, person right here. Which elementary school did you go to? What <laughs> <laughs> thing with a chainsaw? Cherokee County. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so yeah. Funny. Well, there you go. Oh, no wonder you were so eager Look to be up there with me. I so no continue. Anyhow, Ray, continue. Course. Darby, please. <laughs> the docent <laughs> The docent was speaking. Uh, mm. We have uh, we have two Ash uh, Pop vinyls here, one from Army of Darkness, one from the television show. Yes, there was a TV show. Uh, we have an Ash action figure from the TV show. We have another Ash action figure over here, which is kind of a cartoony looking Ash. My toy Ash is my other toy Ash. <laughs> we got uh, Evil Dead 2, the 25th anniversary edition on Blu-ray. And then the coolest find that I ever found when I briefly worked at a bookstore was I was looking through a pile of stuff they were going to throw away and i found this really cool old vintage copy oh sweet of evil dead on VHS. i didn't even notice that and but it, don't touch because your hands have destructive oils that's it's, it's a 1989 <laughs> re-release but it's very uh it's it's very old school looking i love it that's pretty cherry man yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sweet that is so bitchin but isn't it amazing, though? And I'm sorry, not to just sound like the old man, but it is amazing how, how much more character there is when you look at the DVD versus that VHS. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. just, it has Absolutely. so much more to it. Yeah. Yes. You know? I mean, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, so, Evil Dead actually has a special place in my heart because um, my now fiance uh, started talking. When we first met, it was at a local theater. We were doing a musical together. And she started talking with her friend about going to see Evil Dead the musical at a theater nearby for Halloween. My and it was ears, love at first sight. My ears, I was at the other side of the room, not minding my own business. And the second she said Evil Dead, my ears perked up. I ran across the room because I'd never seen a girl in my life who knew what Evil Dead was. And I looked at her and I said, did you say Evil Dead? And she said, yes. And we talked all night about Evil Dead. So Aww. there's a very important message there, there story you know. there. Behind oh, it, that so. is very sweet. And the yeah. deadites are cackling. <laughs> yeah. Join us. <laughs> Join us. You should do an Evil Dead wedding. Yeah, oh, there will be yes. a little Evil Dead isms at the wedding. Yeah, and and I only say that because it's not mine. I don't have to a plan it, b pay for it. So you should do that. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, you should yeah. totally. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna try my ass off to get Bruce Campbell to officiate. So. Oh, oh, that that hurts my feelings just a little, Darby. But anyway, uh, you're on the hey. list. So, oh, but thanks. It, but if it happens, if I'm it a, works, amazing. In yeah, case he yeah. turns into possessed Ash, I get to step up. I'm like yeah. the understudy. Got it. <laughs> you're the, you're uh, the backup. So, so which of these are delightful? Parts of your collection. Which one did you collect first? Uh, I would say I uh, probably just the Blu-ray. I bought all the movies on Blu-ray first, but uh, okay. probably stuffed Ash over here. Bought him at Toys R Us. And I, I do have to ask. Oh, wow. He's got a, a t 
tag <laughs> through his head minus the, the tag. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so. so that's is so that does that hold sentimental value for you? Oh no, I just so I could he hook him on my him wall. I used to hook him on my wall with a pin. So. Oh. Ah. Right above my bed. Well, yeah, we've had. And then I got engaged. We've had our auction <laughs> experts like yeah. look at your collection. Yes, adulty. and what what are and I'm words? and I'm happy to say they've come back with a value of two pounds fifty. Right. Oh, very good, right. very well good. Done. This, with this here, I can maybe pay for a... Oh, God, oh. you've killed him. Oh. Ash died. Ash That's oh. how he finally died. The Deadites couldn't get him, but could Darby sure as hell did. He he was dead. Dead. As if this place wasn't haunted <laughs> enough. Seriously, yeah. we already have an evil spirit that's mad at us, Darby. Well, we don't know if it's evil. I don't want to. I didn't say it was evil. You just, you literally just said evil. Oh, sorry. I thought I said he was just mad at us. I, I, it's like racist to ghosts. We have yeah. a spirit oh, that. This is part last night. This is actually pretty funny. Oh, this part's great. It's getting dragged. Yeah, down. so cool Henrietta uh, is dragging Jake down into the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> and this is another moment with magically disappearing blood. It's where literally Kool Aid. Annie, yeah, Annie gets just geysered. Jake, Jake had. Terribly, like terribly blood high blood pressure. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. He fell the, into the a only, blender. Yeah, the only people with higher blood pressure than him are Asian people in and animes. And people from Brain Dead. Because in animes, yeah. I've, I've noticed everyone has incredibly high blood pressure. One little cut. <laughs> They, they, they look at his blood pressure and PSI. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Atmospheres. Oh, my God. It's Michael yeah. Jackson. Oh, wait. It's just possessed Ash. <laughs> Never mind. I'm but surprised you mentioned Rain Dead. How do you know about that movie? Oh. <laughs> I traumatize you. Aww. I really do. Oh, no. That, I don't think you won the, the contest for traumatizing me that night. Uh, the Holy Mountain. That. Oh, no. I'm not even talking about that. I'm just going to leave it right there. But, okay. So, how d Ash is possessed fully. And here's my question Did I miss something, Darby, where I know his hand was possessed, but then he chopped it off? So, how does he become fully possessed? Why so is that? When he got hit by the spirit at the beginning of the movie and he was like, Pushed through the oh, forest. so that was it? Yeah, he woke up in that puddle and he was possessed. And then oh, okay. the sun comes up and then he's no longer possessed. So, oh, so he can gotcha. only gotcha. The, He's cool when the sun comes out. He's cool when the sun comes out. It's like, yeah. But, ah. but, but when the sun goes he's down... He's a reverse he can, vampire. Yeah, he's a reverse <laughs> vampire. <laughs> but it makes no sense. That sounds sense. like a really weird sex position. All of the um, deadites are just It's dead not eyes. as weird as you would think. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah. The I can't Dracula? wait to see your blog about that. Um, <laughs> Have you done the reverse Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must say. Would you do the verse, reverse Dracula? I, I like to watch. Did you bite a little? <laughs> oh, God. But, so what brings it's Ash like a back? like Jim Morrison, man. <laughs> <laughs> what brings Ash back from his state of possession? What item does he see? Uh, he looks at the necklace that he got his, his dead girlfriend, Linda. Uh, Linda number two, I guess, if we're going off the actresses. <laughs> yeah. and, but through the power of Off-brand love. Off-brand Linda. <laughs> the power, power of, of love. love. He transforms back into Bruce the Chin Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think his chin is even more pronounced when he's possessed Ash. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, it is. Big but, time. You know, yeah. speaking of Bruce Campbell, uh, favorite Bruce Campbell movie. I am more and more liking Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep is great. It's, a, it's a really good movie. I really haven't I, seen that many of his movies. I couldn't. I mean, I've seen, I've seen several movies. Bruce Campbell. I don't. I'm, I like I'm, Maniac Cop quite a bit. <laughs> That's a fun one. Yeah. Or uh, Icebreaker. Icebreaker. <laughs> Icebreaker. <laughs> yeah. He would like to forget that movie. My exists. name is Bruce. Is really fun. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure. Uh, but Probably. no. So, do you have a favorite Bruce Campbell? Probably Evil Dead one or two. I, okay. Every day it changes. It's either either one or two. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you to because it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not even worth right it. The chase of the movie well, how about you, like Jason? I mean, Jader will just. Well, no, like I said Bubba Hotep. Too. <laughs> no, seriously, that's my answer. Yeah, right. Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep. Oh, yeah. you already said What about okay, Sky right? High? Anybody love Sky High? Oh, God. Um, I try to pretend like I never saw that Briscoe movie. Briscoe County. Briscoe County. Really good. It's a good TV show. It was, it was a good TV show. It was about the most. Burn notice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Burn, burn, notice, notice, yeah. burn Notice. Was he really? I think he was in name? Sam Ash and uh, Burn Notice. Yeah, Sam Ash. That yeah. wouldn't surprise me. I yep. think he was in like one episode. Oh, here we go. Of Psych. Here we go. Oh, the groovy, the chainsaw hand. Because they it's iconic. He goes out to the woodshed again. He saws off his shotgun, like you do, and it doesn't come all the way off. So he's got to clack it with his elbow. Yeah, he he's just so scored. badass. Yeah. So, yeah. though, with this situation, have you ever tried to load a breech action shotgun <laughs> with one hand? No. It is not simple. <laughs> Can you I mean, imagine doing it with a chains? You'd have to put it on the ground. Well, you learned how to do it in one night. So. Well, yeah, you can flop it over your arm and like kind of do it like that. But you know, I guess you have to put it on a table. 
kick it, yeah, there you go. <laughs> shoulder it open. Death stories, you guys. He's done some really <laughs> odd things. Although, I mean, it's not like he could, you know, load a pump action all that much easier. No, I mean, one hand and a shotgun, it just doesn't work. Well, if you were one-handed, what weapon would you choose? Mm. Well, I mean, anything magazine-fed, because I can work around it at that point. All right, okay. So, a magazine in one hand is all you need? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yes, absolutely. I think he just what? won the episode. Uh, <laughs> well done. Speaking of high school. <laughs> hey, I had to make sure you were keeping that door shut in case yeah. your door didn't lock back in those days, yeah. I imagine. For all the bathrooms of that stupid lock that mom could just push, you know, <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> you got to shut something in. The door yeah, but then she knows oh, something's yeah, yeah. up, you know? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Tales from my fiance's past. You're Are you smoking weed tonight. or masturbating in there? Either wh way. Wh which one is... <laughs> which one would be less traumatizing for me yeah. to stop? How do you like, rate... Would one, would one be more okay than the yeah, other? Yeah, which one? Gets to ready? stop? Yeah, uh, I'd much rather you be smoking weed if I bust in on you in the bathroom. Really? <laughs> yes. I don't want to walk in on you and enjoy yourself. No, thank you. <laughs> the best is when you do both, though. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, if you listen to Joe Rogan, that just means you fall asleep. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got a big weekend yeah. plan, do you, Jason? <laughs> uh, KY. Oh. <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. I am tripping bear balls. Anyway. So um, this is very much like Evil Dead too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, contrary contrary to I think popular. I said that last night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very much like Evil Dead too. Wait, what were you doing last night? Watching this movie. Well, that was actually a quote from Roger Ebert's uh, review. Anyway. I was uh, <laughs> so contrary to popular uh, belief, yeah, Ash does not become the iconic uh, Deadite slang chainsaw handed badass that he becomes until Evil Dead right. 2. He just now recently put the chainsaw on his hand, sawed off the shotgun to make it his boomstick, which becomes very key in Army of Darkness, which I can't wait to show Jader. Oh, it's and, awesome. Uh, it's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and so now Ash is slewing one-liners. Well, he's starting to say a few one-liners. He, 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 the next movie is what the one-liners are for. But uh, and, yeah, he's now, a, he's now a dead eye slaying badass with a chainsaw hand. The chainsaw <laughs> hand is honestly one of the coolest things I think they've ever done in horror. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's so oh. strange. Oh, uh, no, no question. They've no never question. done anything else sure. like that before. Yeah. Well, you and notice that it switches hands? It switches hands. Yeah, it's on his right hand, and then it's on his left. It goes it goes back never, to his right at one point. No but way. Sam I never Raimi, noticed that. Sam Raimi explained <laughs> it, saying that uh, he wanted Ash to be walking down the opposite side of a hallway, so uh, he, he flipped the shot. So it wasn't really... And then really... forgot. Well, my, my action <laughs> yeah. figures say it's the right hand, so... <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because I think that's one reason why Evil Dead 1 doesn't do it for me as much. No it's chainsaw hand? Because it's okay. just this, all of There's this. your song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got Evil Dead. Band name. Same movie for the first quarter of it, but then... Chainsaw hand. <laughs> that okay? Well, so all in. right, okay. So we are starting a death metal band yes. named Chainsaw, Chainsaw hand. hand. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And then the uh, yeah, the first album will be called Fistful of Boomstick. Awesome. Yep. Yes. There you, go. there you go. It makes me sad so to you think can't have a fistful of anything if you have chainsaws for hands. Well, that's true. Oh, that's a good well, you can have this, well, you can have this one fist. One fist. Yeah, one fist. One. yeah, one fist. Well, no, but then if a dead eye sneaks up on you, all you need is one fist, right? That's a Beatles song, isn't it? It's a Beatles song. Yeah. Yeah. All you need is fist. <laughs> this is the part of the show where you start running out of material. Oh, God. Well, uh, I should have eaten before drinking. So this, this moth beer. flies into a. No! <laughs> no, no. Nice. No. Fell into a bucket of cream. <laughs> Well, okay. So Annie's upstairs and she's trying to read the pages from the Book of the Dead. Let's play let's play the recast game. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to recast instead of Bruce Campbell, Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody in the world any timeline it doesn't anything, matter. Okay. Anything. Anything. Yeah, um, specifically 1968 Shatner. Okay. Um Yokel Jake who gets blended <laughs> by yeah. Henrietta in the basement. Um Cousin Eddie. Okay, not, um, Randy, Quaid. not Randy Quaid. Quaid. Cousin, Cousin Eddie. Eddie. Okay, specifically Cousin Eddie. Shitter's yes. full. Okay, all right. Next, cellar's full. Yeah. Yeah. Cellar's <laughs> full. Replaced by yes. 
Steve Buscemi. Okay. Ooh. Steve Buscemi okay. with chainsaw hands. That wins what I was going to say. I mean, that would yeah. be amazing. Would it, though? That would be great. Be I'm the one with the fucking shotgun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good and bad, I'm the guy with the gun. Yeah. And then, you know, in the corner, he can still have his people to kill list yeah, that he's exactly. marking off in lipstick. Yeah. It was funny. I was actually explaining to my son the other day about um, why it is that you shouldn't take part in so bullying. Pictures. Okay, so like if a kid's being bullied, you should stay out. Don't bully that kid. And and because there was a sort of incident at his school. And I was like, look, I'm not getting my, I'm not getting my point across. So I pulled up the Billy Madison clip oh, with Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my son was like, oh, OK, yeah, I got it. Blue day. <laughs> I'm glad I yeah. called that guy. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago, hang out with the weirdos. <laughs> yeah. and as, much, as much as I hate that it's a Dane Cook joke, he's like, that's why you make friends with the psycho at your work. You give, Here, Marcus, here's a pin for your crazy pocket. Here's a Snickers. Put that in your mouth. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So that when he comes and shoots up the office, he gets to your office and he goes, thanks for the candy. So, yeah, at least you made a psychotic friend. Well, I mean, else. there is, there's an old saying, make friends with the NCOs and the absolute lunatics. Yep. Yeah. Dane so, Cook, that's a name well, I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> and he, he was the greatest starfighter pilot in the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got to finish and the game. And a good friend. Darby, who would, you, <laughs> who would you recast in this movie? I mean, I can't beat Steve Buscemi, <laughs> but uh, honestly, I'd be really interested. Swallow in, this. I'd be interested in seeing Rambo era <laughs> so Stallone play Ash. I think that'd be really funny. Okay, I, yeah, I would. I, scale, yeah, yeah. Swallow, I would also this. say that you could replace <laughs> the big monster at the end um, with Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> um, Perfect. But then you get into that whole thing with the X rating, you know, and, and so yeah, I can see why they wouldn't do that. You just that. had to score some points for Mr. Brown yeah. on his behalf tonight, didn't you? Julie. Don't worry, Adam. We miss oh you. Oh, my God. I don't. Let's, uh, ooh. Join I'm Shade us. War. Getting Except him. Burn. But. So let Burn. us, let us, um, let's do Alpha to Seinfeld. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, well, does Alpha to Seinfeld work if you haven't seen it until recently? Of course. If you have no nostalgia. Well, factor? yeah, no, yeah, they're sort of. No, we're perfect fives because we saw it for the first yeah. time oh, ever right. last Good night. Point. So it doesn't, would just make you a it doesn't falter. Five. Yeah, you're so we're point. perfect fives. <laughs> so I, to spoil I, your score. <laughs> I, I'm actually going to give it an eight. Because I honestly, while I was watching it, I haven't seen it in a very, very long time. And while watching it, I just found myself really, really laughing and enjoying it tremendously. And I don't know. I think I appreciated it more now than I did whenever I was a kid or a teenager. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give it an eight. All right. Fair enough. Nice. Darby. Uh, I mean, watching this movie last night, it's the first time I watched it in, what, five days? So uh, Yeah, you know. it's a while. <laughs> I live and breathe Evil Dead. I watch these movies every couple of months, all three of them. And um, apparently you've got a big uh, week as far as Evil Dead 2 goes, so do you want to mention your project that you have coming up on your so, side of the... Yes, I do, Jader. Before I give my score, I'd love to promote that project. Uh, tomorrow, I'm actually going to be recording uh, an episode where we discuss Evil Dead 1 and 2 and Evil Dead the Musical. We compare and contrast the movies and the musical on... Uh, on Playbills and Popcorn, which is my own podcast, where we talk about movies uh, and their st stage plays and their movie adaptations and vice versa. So we'll actually be digging into Evil Dead 1 and 2 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday, I'm going to be going to see Evil Dead the Musical with Alyssa. Now, where can people uh, find the podcast? Uh, pretty much anywhere so, where there's podcasts, okay. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Playbills anything. and Popcorn. Playbills yes. and Popcorn. If you like theater and you like movies, then this is the, this is the show for you. Excellent. Fantastic. But also listen to, you know, this show. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, your score. My score. Well, every time I watch this movie, I appreciate it more because I start noticing more of the really cool, stupid, crazy effects that <laughs> cool, I didn't appreciate. Stupid, crazy effects. Oh, these I effects like are awesome yet ridiculous and stupid. Uh, I didn't notice them as a kid, so every time I watch it, I notice more details. So I would give this a solid nine. On okay. The, uh, oh on wow. The Seinfeld scale. I love this movie more every time I see it. If you're a horror fan and you haven't seen Evil Dead, what are you doing with your life? Go oh, and yeah, watch, yeah, go and watch you, Evil Dead 2 or the first one and then Evil Dead 2. Watch the whole trilogy. I, th um, I think if you're a horror fan, it, there are certain movies that you have to, you have to have seen Nightmare on Elm Street. You have yeah. to have seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know, Halloween. The, yeah, there's a too. yeah, and this would definitely be on that list. Where Rolling Stone actually uh, rated Evil Dead 2 as the third greatest horror sequel of all time. Mm. 
So, I can see that, especially if you're talking sequels. Yeah, horror sequels. I would say, what, what was a better sequel? There's not a whole lot of better yeah. horror sequels than this one. This is my favorite horror sequel. Yeah, I mean, Poltergeist 2 sucked. I mean, you get uh, a forest. Friday the 13th 2. You get a yeah, forest full a of fun trees. One. It's Jason. Well, that, yeah, you actually get Jason for the first time. Jason. Yeah, so. Well, because apparently they uh, Annie committed the horrible sin of not finishing the patch- passages that were going to kill all the deadites because the trees transform into angry rancors yes. and uh, reach for ash to the windows. So is that what happened? She just never did finish the passages because that was the problem with the trees attacking yeah. the cabin. Real, real quick, place, right? that yeah. swirling uh, vortex effect is God. the exact same special effect from the movie The Final Countdown. Is it? It's right? the final yeah. countdown. Yeah. Which you've never, if you've never seen The Final Countdown... It's a pretty good movie. It's yeah. kind of cool. It's a cool it's a sort of science movie, fiction movie. Yeah, yeah. So f- a big plot point is in the in the book of the dead is that there is a prophesied hero from the sky that saves everybody in thirteen hundred A.D. That's supposed to be Ash. He goes back in time. Well, yeah. how does he get back in time? You say. Well, that's where the end of the movie kicks in. It comes full circle and it leads right into the next movie in me- yeah. which is in medieval times. Um, but yeah, basically, Annie's reading the incantations to open the time portal to suck the evil back in time to 1300 AD. The problem is, Ash's uh, right hand, his very useful right hand that used to be his best friend, uh, stabbed <laughs> stabbed his Annie. Girlfriend. Yeah, his girlfriend. <laughs> After Linda, he's gonna need it. Um, oh, <laughs> stabs Annie in the back before she can finish the. Inc- incantation that closes the time portal so now ash is being sucked back into 1300 a.d medieval yeah. times. oh so it's the oh it's not the fact that she finishes it and he's part of the incantation because he had to be part of the prophecy it's the no. fact that she just didn't finish it she whatsoever. just didn't finish it she got stabbed in the back and why before. does he say you did it kid because um he thought that she read it all and all the evil was gone he's like you did it but it wasn't quite closed yet because she didn't quite finish it so then he gets sucked in after see kids yeah. this is why it's important to learn another language than your own and also finish yeah. what you start yes I, honestly yeah, yeah. now the end of this movie when His he falls car into suffered that fall way worse than he did <laughs> oh yeah big time well that's because he just jumped off a pallet that's right <laughs> off <laughs> landed on yeah. a padded portion of ground yeah <laughs> conveniently padded yeah now take this awesome ending where he gets sucked into medieval times and take away about half of it for the next movie because in the next movie everyone just hates him again oh yeah. that's fun yeah but uh who has an important speaking role a cameo oh, if you will toward the end of this be, movie uh, it would be our director sam raimi yes and this is uh, though he does many cameos throughout these movies apparently including you know Disembodied hands and mm, cat voices Renault and right such. There. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this is Sam Raimi's only Sarah speaking Jessica role. Parker. Wow, <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. Yep, there's your recast. Her face looks like a deadite. <laughs> God, Matthew Broderick is pissed right now. This is back when she was young and cute, though. Oh, yeah. that, was, that cool. happened. Yeah, yeah, let herself go. She was one of the eight girls. She dated Robert Downey Jr. for a while. I'd still rather take her over Julia Roberts. Oh. <gasps> I said it. Ye- and on that bombshell of a damn <laughs> note, uh, hindsighters, we're about to murder young Adam because he does not know. We're going to have to pick this up what? next time you're on the show. Yeah. Know. There's geez. a lot. Yeah. To be continued. We're, we'll have to pick a, a Sarah Jessica Parker movie and a Julia Roberts oh, it's movie. On. <laughs> and it's on like rom Pretty con. Woman versus Mars Attacks. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Which one? I would love Mars Attacks. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. I would do. No, Jason, yeah. hey, he's tricking you. He just wants to stare at Lisa Marie for an hour and a half. That's I what do. he wants. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got, I got. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hindsight is on that delicious bombshell of a note. Thank you once again for joining us for your drive time, your listening time, your dead eye time, your slamming Sarah Jessica Parker or <laughs> Julia Roberts time. We don't care which time. This has been a uh, special guest, Darby, Jade's fiance, Josh, with your regular old guests, Dark Jader and yeah. Jason Mitchell. And maybe we'll let Adam Brown come back. Yeah. He's dead to me. He's dead. And we want his cat dead. You got an Adam right here. Dead. <laughs> so we got a new Adam. Got an Adam right here. What do you need him this for? He's younger, fresher, hotter. So yeah. He's not going to die soon. Therefore, truthfully speaking, this has been Darth, Adam, and Jason with hindsight. And good night. <laughs>